have this little book here, and it's got all these different kind of colors, various kind of colors here. It's not too big. Hopefully, everybody can see it. You know, all kinds of different colors. They look like abstract art, right? Well, the first time that I saw anything like this, I was at a novelty shop with a friend. And they had this big poster on display. And I was looking at other things, but I saw my friend kind of staring at one of these abstract art posters. It was pretty big. And so I went to him, and I said, well, what are you looking at? And he said, can't you see it? I said, yeah, I see it. Abstract art, big deal. He said, no. He says, it's a 3D image. You gotta, can't look at it real close. You just kind of have to like, you know, lazily stare at it, and then it will just kind of jump out at you. I said, okay. So I started looking, and sure enough, there it came, just came right out. These can do that too, but you got to have the lighting has to be kind of right. Some days I can do it, some days I can't. But there it was. I mean, I was looking at it the first time. I didn't see it. But then when I looked again, then I recognized it. And isn't that what happens oftentimes in our lives? I mean, how often has it happened to you when you saw somebody you knew, but you didn't recognize them? That just happened to me the other day. And guess who it was? Monsignor Caverly. <laughs> I was walking down at the pier, and, da -da 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 -da, and here he comes. Of course, he wasn't in his clerics, and startled me, you know? But I was looking at him, but, you know, I wasn't thinking. He was outside the context. How often that happens to us, that we look at something or someone, we know what it is, but we don't recognize it. That's what happened with John the Baptist. Not once, but twice. He says in today's gospel about Jesus, after having said of Jesus, he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, he says twice, I did not know him. Now in one translation it says, it, it writes it out, I did not know who he would be. So it's not that John the Baptist didn't know Jesus as a person, Jesus was related to John. They lived not far from each other. They probably played with one another when they were children. So it's not that John the Baptist didn't know Jesus the person. John the Baptist didn't know Jesus the Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world until that day at the River Jordan when it was revealed to him by a voice from above. Now, I have to say to you, if that happened to John the Baptist, that can happen to anyone. In fact, I'll take it one step farther. It happens to us all the time. We see Jesus, but we don't recognize him. Sure, when we come to Mass here, we're looking and listening for Jesus. We have our eyes and ears of faith. We hear Jesus in the scriptures, hopefully in the homily. We see Jesus in the Eucharist. We see Jesus in one another. But are we looking for Jesus out there? Maybe we recognize the presence of God perhaps in the beauty of nature. Maybe at night we'll look up at the skies and see all the stars and wonder and see that spectacularness and think of God. But do we see and recognize our Lord in the plain, in the ordinary, and in the familiar things of life? the things that most of life is made up of. 
Perhaps one reason why John the Baptist did not recognize Jesus is because he saw Jesus the cousin, Jesus the playmate, Jesus the friend. How often is it that we do not see Jesus in the familiar, in the ordinary, in the plain, where most of our lives are lived? How often is it that we don't see and recognize Jesus in our homes? When we don't see Jesus in our spouse or in our children, our siblings, how often do we not see and recognize Jesus in the challenges and the tragedies of life? God is present. There was a young man, very tired and anxious, went to the hospital. The nurse escorted him in one of the rooms where there was a patient. The nurse whispered in the patient, who was an elderly man, in his ear, your son is here. She had to say it a few times before he was finally able to open his eyes dimly because he was sedated heavily. He was racked with pain because of a major heart attack. The nurse brought over the young man, and the older man opened his eyes slightly, and when he heard from the nurse, it, your son is here, he reached out his hand. So the young man held on to it. The nurse brought over a chair and he sat down. The young man offered words of consolation and encouragement. He held on to that hand. He was there throughout the night until finally in the early hours of the morning the el elderly man died. So the young man placed the now lifeless hand on the bed and went out and told the nurse on duty. The nurse then went and did the necessary things that needed to be done. The young man waited. Finally, when she was done, she came over and offered words of sympathy to the young man. But he interrupted her. Who was he? The nurse was startled. Well, I thought he was your father. And he said, no, I've never seen him before in my life. And the nurse said, well, why didn't you tell me when I brought you into the room? And he said, well, I knew he needed his son, and his son wasn't there. And when I realized that he could not tell because of the sickness, who I really was, I knew he needed me. And for that night, at least, I was his son. My friends, how dimly we look. Open your eyes and see and recognize the Son of God in your midst especially in the plain and ordinary things of life, the very things that most of life is lived. May God give us that grace to look and to recognize Jesus in our midst, and even more importantly, that God's grace will make the Son of God more recognizable in our own lives so that others can see Jesus in us. Amen? Amen. God bless you.